What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're coming to you from Cotton Hill Campground in Georgia. Um, awesome, awesome Army Corps of Engineer Campground. Excited to show you guys this place. Uh, our site, as you can see behind us, another beautiful waterfront site. Uh, we've been really fortunate for the last few places we've been. Get some really awesome waterfront sites and uh, this one's no different, so stay tuned. So we found this spot kind of on a last minute reservation. Um, we were at uh, Miller's Ferry, which we showed you in our previous video, and just didn't really want to stay there for the entire time that we booked. Um, as you saw, you know, the, the campground itself was, was not bad. Our site was great, but did have a pretty big issue with ants. Uh, the flies were kind of out of control. And, uh, you know, so we started looking around. If we could find something, over Memorial Day weekend, which we knew was a long shot, then we would go ahead and do it. We checked Cotton Hill Campground, and somebody must have canceled because we checked this spot a couple days prior, and we couldn't find a site here. So we're over here in Site 10. Something really awesome about this Army Corps Campground, it is full hookup. So that is a huge plus for us uh, when we can find an Army Corps that has full hookups uh, because the price is right. I mean, um, they're not expensive at all way less than you would spend at a resort to get full hookups. And, you know, to get a waterfront view like this in a resort with full hookups, you're gonna pay top dollar. So Army Corps of Engineer Campgrounds are a phenomenal bargain uh, when you can find one with full hookups. Here's a closer look at site number 10, the awesome site we were able to score Memorial Day weekend. Access to fishing right behind our site. So as we started making our way over here, uh, the drive-in, our GPS took us to the wrong spot. Um, it took us to like where the visitor center and the office is for uh, for this lake. Um, it's located on the Walter F. George Reservoir. Our GPS took us to like their main office, uh, which is up on the main road. That is not where you got to go. Uh, to get to this campground, you're going to go way past that, uh, about five miles past that. You're going to turn off the main road and uh, come on down and you'll see the signs for Cotton Hill Campground. So Site 10 is over here on Old Mill Road. Uh, it's the Old Mill Loop. So as good as this campground is, there are a lot of sites that have a really, really steep driveway. So we'll uh, do a little drive through here. We'll show you some of those sites. And when I say steep, I mean like really, really steep. Uh, pretty impressive that some of these people actually got their, their travel trailers and fifth wheels down into some of these sites. Um, the site itself is level, but the driveway is, is on a, a very big incline. So we'll point out some of those and uh, just give you guys a look around. All right, so this is the Old Mill Road Loop. This is sites one through 50. This is the loop we're on. We're down here in site 10. sites here at the beginning are not the driveways are not too steep uh, they're a little steep but they're manageable you can see I mean there's fifth wheels travel trailers uh, they got in here you know with no issue um, but there is a bit of an incline uh, some sites will show you down the way are really really steep there's our site coming up right here on the right site 10 so nice large site a good amount of privacy in between us and our neighbor There's a little cove right here in between these next two sites so if you do have a boat you can pull right up in this little cove and get right in here behind your campsite 
we've pulled through sight ahead of us on top of the hill, we're going to circle down this way. This site here is one of the ones that are heavily inclined. Site 14, big incline. Site 15, really big incline. sites definitely had a huge incline it would be could be a little tricky um, there's a sites that are right together right here on our right sites let's see what site number these are these two are incredibly inclined so uh, site 30 and 31 they're right beside each other but the incline getting down to there is uh, it's pretty dramatic also Site 32 is this nice big pull through site. brings you right back out by the guard shack right here to the front of the campground uh, so we'll make a loop and go show you the other the other side okay, 51 through 71 Some of these sites are a little more out in the open. Um, the pads over here in this loop are gravel. The pads over in the uh, old mill loop are concrete pads. And all these sites are full hookup in both loops. boat trailers uh, and that's because the access you have to the water from these sites is awesome literally right behind your campsite
gonna go drive through the Pine Island Loop, site 72 through 104. We're here on Memorial Day weekend. The place is very, very busy, but even as busy as it is with 104 sites, there is still a little bit of availability. So uh, the chances that this thing fills up on a regular basis are probably pretty slim. And this loop has access down to the swim beach. So pretty popular spot due to the, the access you have right there um, to the swim beach and we'll come past that in just a minute. All these sites here in this little cul-de-sac are all, all tent sites. Swim beach down there. And there you have it that is all 104 sites on all three loops it seems like if you really want a little more privacy the loop we're on old mill loop would be the one for you uh, if you want more beach access then the pine island loop is definitely uh, definitely gonna be a better choice so there you have it, that's Cotton Hill Campground. Uh, awesome, awesome Army Corps Campground. We really, really enjoy our stay uh, over Memorial Day weekend there. I will say that that's probably the quietest campground we've ever been at over Memorial Day weekend. Um, I think all the all the loud partying might have been going down by that uh, lake area that we showed you up in our loop. Man, it was quiet, um, which made it really, really nice. There's a lot of beware alligator signs out there. You need to take those seriously. Um, there are, I know for sure, at least one big alligator out there. I uh, got some video right behind the campground before we were leaving uh, on our last morning there. Uh, big alligator. And that thing's plenty big enough. Uh, we saw a lot of people walking their dogs down by the lake. So, you know, being from Florida, we are very, very aware. Uh, anytime we're walking our dog or anytime we're down by the water. So, um, seeing that big alligator definitely, uh, definitely got our attention and we made sure to keep our dog right there beside us if we were walking her. Don't walk her real close to the edge of the lake. Uh, probably wouldn't let my dog swim around that lake. I mean, it's it's definitely uh, definitely some alligators out there. And like we said, one big one for sure. The access right there behind your site uh, to the water is amazing. Um, nice big open area, you can get there to fish. You can pull a boat right up behind your, uh, right behind your site there if you want to. I mean, the water is a little bit of ways away from the site, but it's just a wide open shoreline, so you can pull right up, anchor your boat right there, uh, I'll tie your boat up on the shore, and uh, you know, you'll be in good shape. Uh, it's super easy access. So that's gonna do it from Cotton Hill Campground. We enjoyed our stay. We appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you guys down the road.